Hi everybody, I made a video before this, but I thought it was a little bit broken, because this thing didn't look, it, was like, it looked like it was barely moving, so I thought you guys couldn't hear me, but you can, because I just, yeah. anyway, so today I'll be teaching you how to mod um, textures in Baldi's Basics, um, and yeah, so to do that, you're going to need to install paint.net and uh, also you're going to install um, UABE so I'll just show you how to install that I'll leave the links in the description what the heck no I'll leave the link in the description for these uh, for these downloads so I'm just going to go to uh, 7 days to die forums okay and then uh, go to the last thing it says 2.2 stable B 32 bit Look for 64 bit and then click on this here. Okay, and then I'll bring you to this. I'll bring you to mega.nz. Download it, but I'm just gonna not download it because I already have it. So once you have it downloaded, just extract it and blah blah blah. So yeah, once you have that downloaded and paint.net, we it is now time to start. So you're going to want to open up assets bundle extractor. Hold on. I'm just uh, don't don't look guys, don't look. Okay, now you can look. I just deleted everything here. Okay, so, um, before we get to this, whoa. Okay. Before we get to that, um, um, so basically, shared, uh, these are all the, these are all the things that contain the textures, the shared assets, dot assets. Assets are like the stuff that's inside it. And, um, basically, I'll just tell you what they all contain. Shared assets, zero dot assets, contains the nav mesh for the, the map, so then people, so then the AI knows how to get around. And also, it contains one texture, and that is the uh, warning screen. Shared assets, one dot assets, includes the main menu, um, and the buttons, and the credits, and stuff like that. Shared assets, two dot assets, is the most important one, and includes all the texture like um the textures from in game like like pretty much everything is in this hole shared assets three dot assets um includes um and includes the random items that that appear when you die shared assets four dot assets is um is the windscreen shared assets five dot assets is the secret ending like stuff in the secret ending. Shared assets six is basically shared assets two, but it's not used. Mr. Man twelve, why did you make that? If if you're watching this, why? Why would you make shared assets six if it's not even used? I don't know. Maybe it is used, and I'm just dumb. I don't know. But when I ex when I exported it, it looked just like shared assets two. Okay, so we we'll never got all that out of the way. Choose one. Click file. Open. Okay. And then uh, go to your copy of Baldi's Basics. Open up Shared Assets 2. Assets. Uh huh. Honestly, okay, there we go. What? Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Okay, well. Um, so once you're in here, you're going to want to click name and type. Oh, not, no, not name and file ID. Name and type. And then click on the first one that says Texture 2D. And scroll all the way down to the last one that says Texture 2D. Hold down Shift. Click on it. And then click Plugins. Export to PNG. Okay. Okay, and then select your Shared Assets folder. And then it'll start exporting. Okay, then just click o okay. Minimize this. Okay, so now that we got that, once you uh once you open this up, and then you go to your shared assets too, it'll have everything from the game. So you can start editing. Um just be aware of their names. If it says shared assets um one or any of the other numbers, shared assets two is what you want to find. 
if it says shared assets one or shared assets zero, then that is no good. Like for example, this shared assets one. Do not edit this. If you do, it won't make a difference. So there's no reason why you should. You can, but it's a waste of time because it does literally nothing. So yeah, only ones that should have shared assets two are the ones that actually work. These are just from resource thing. No, don't worry about these. All right, so um, okay. Now we are going to start editing. So, so uh, just choose one that you want to edit. Uh, go to open with paint.net. Okay, and then you can like zoom in if you want, and then you can start editing them. So, I'm gonna name this the Baldi's Basics Tutorial mod. I'm not gonna upload this. Well, I mean, I might, but there's a really high chance I won't. Okay, then you can just start editing people. Uh, you can just do whatever you want with them. You can even include yourself, but unfortunately, if you do that, it'll uh, it'll be really low quality. It'll like cut it out while you're in game, so it's kind of bad. So I'm just gonna keep on doing this. Uh -huh. I don't know why why I'm doing this, but I'm well, just this is for purposes. You know what? Screw that. I'm actually going to go think about this, so... I'm going to cut off his head. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. Bam. Alright, his head's off. Oh. There's a little bit over here. We just got to erase this. Let me just make this a little bit bigger. Okay. Once you have that, his head's cut off. Then you can paste it and then move it around. I'm just going to put it on here. Yeah. Put his head on his body. Why not? I'm also gonna, um, I'm also going to cut off his arm and then put it somewhere else, too. So let's do that. If I do upload this, I probably get trashed pretty soon, because this is a terrible mod. Probably. Yeah, just do that. Head. <laughs> I'm going to make this his head. Yeah, that is not, okay, that is just wrong wait if that's the case then okay well it's too late now okay whoa don't do that okay, i'm just trying to get it aligned there we go okay so poor principal has his arm as a head so yeah, I'm just gonna do that for now. And then once you're done editing the uh, texture, you're, uh, I'm just gonna select this. And then click File, click Save. I said File, Save. File, Save. Okay. And then click OK. So then it'll be saved, so you can just exit out of that. And then, as you can see right here, it has changed. So just keep on doing that with other textures until you're, until you're satisfied. So yeah, I'll just keep on going. Hey everybody, I am back, and I've just finished editing the, um, things, and, uh, um, I didn't edit a lot, because, you know, this is a video. I did edit a few things, though, so once you're done editing, get back into, uh, your Unity Assets Bundle Extractor. Um, go to the, uh, Shared Assets 2 dot Assets. And, uh, do the same thing that we did. Okay. Just click on the first one that says Texture 2D. Click on the last one that says Texture 2D. And just go ahead and find it. Okay, there it is. And click Plugins. But this time, don't click Export to PNG. Click Batch Import. And this will import everything. And then select the Shared Assets 2 folder. Select it. Click OK. It'll start importing it. So just wait for that. And then when it's done, click File, Save, um, and then just save it in that folder. So just spam save. Until it doesn't ask you anymore. Then you can exit out of this. 
And then look for shared assets to dot assets in this folder. Right here. Let me go ahead and find it. Here it is. Copy it. And then rename this to backup. In case you ever want to change back. Or you can always delete it because this is a this is a copy. Okay, once you've done that, let's enter the game, see how it looks. I'm using the um, mod menu, by the way. But fast guy, go ahead and download it yourself. Welcome to Bali's Basics in Education and Learning. That's me. Oh, hi. Two notebooks before you can use these doors. Other mouse. My touchpad isn't working. Oh, it's better. Okay. I see you. First try I have lost you. I don't like that. Okay, let's see what this is. No entering school faculty, only rooms in the hall. No. 15 seconds. Alright, well, yeah, that's the game. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, so, yeah, the other ones are basically just the same. So, I guess I'll just see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.